Hello, hello, welcome back. Um, nope, wrong burner. Shit. Motherfucker, I was <laughs> Oh well. Whoops. <laughs> so, see, mistakes happen. Whatever. But nobody else is in the kitchen to see it, so that means it didn't happen. But, <clears throat> okay, um, tonight I want to do uh, something called tonkatsu pork. It's a Japanese dish. It is insanely simple. Like, so simple, I don't understand why it's not on every fucking corner in this country. Because it's amazing, it's so delicious, so easy, and honestly pretty cheap to make. It is easy. So I could charge like 12 bucks for this easy. And, yeah. Just going to do it with some rice. I'm using regular rice tonight. Just yeah, the regular, like the cheap long grain stuff to make it a little more affordable. So I'm saving my sushi rice for something else. Um... I've got that started now. When it comes to a boil, I'm going to turn the heat off. I'm also going to make some rice for tomorrow. Over here, I have arborio rice. Arborio rice is extra starchy. And I want to make this for tomorrow so that I can make some arancini. So, but let's get started. First things first, since the rice is already gone, it takes the longest. I'm going to go ahead and start chopping up my pork. It's got a bowl. I'm going to have a cutting board here. Now you can add any kind of veggies, whatever you want to this. Like, no problem. You can do this without meat. You can just mix up the you can just mix up the sauce and throw some rice underneath that shit. It's phenomenal. So, okay. <clears throat> I'm cutting up my pork into little like bite-sized cubes. This is a this is labeled as pork for carnitas, so it's actually a good blend of different types of pork. Probably stuff they just couldn't sell like pieces that got carved off and that's totally fine because we're gonna make it work got about half this pack so about just under half a pound just under a pound because the other half is being used for something else it's actually in this bowl right here so you just mix it up in a minute okay Wash my hands. <clears throat> okay. I don't need that at all. So, do you want to give this a quick stir? This is the rest of the pork that'll be used tomorrow night for dinner. Just gonna get in here. This is mushrooms, a bell pepper, an onion, all in the pork, all real chunky style with some. So the packet of taco seasoning that I'm going to make kebabs out of. Or just, if you don't want to make kebabs, throw this shit in a pan and bake it. Call it a day. Really easy. So. Yep, back in the fridge. You can cut it. Are you eating? Okay, yes you are. So, this is almost hot. Now, I want to show y'all a really quick, really simple way to actually part about a tender like make your make your meat really really tender I have a quarter pound so I'm taking just over a pinch of baking soda not a lot you don't need a lot of it tiny little bit turn that all the way down because that's just started spitting at me I'm going to add a very, very small drizzle of water, like a teaspoon. Just going to mix this up. Baking soda changes the pH and will actually cause the protein strands to relax and push apart. Memory serves. So, you know, once you mix up, you see the water's completely gone. I use a drop and a half. 
and you will not taste that baking soda. It's actually a secret, like, you know, it's like an Asian trick from what I heard. Okay, let's get pork ready for, or oil ready for frying. What about an inch of oil in the pan? You don't want a whole lot. Because why use it if you don't have to? Done. Will you cover you? Yes, you will. You are dirty. Okay. Hmm. That's dirty. That's dirty. Cool. Boom. Done. Hey, Steph. Hey, Indy. I've got our pork here. Add a little bit of salt just to season it up. Some pepper. And that's all. You don't really add anything else to it because you really, like I want to celebrate. I want to actually taste the pork flavor. Like I don't, I'm not gonna try to cover it up with like fish sauce or soy or anything. And we are already gonna have a, the takatsu sauce, which is like a Japanese barbecue sauce which is insanely flavorful, so you don't really want anything fighting it. The salt will help draw a little bit of moisture out of that. So, okay. Let's do mixed. Ah, snap, didn't hurt down. That was me, that was my bad. Let's get our bowls. Once again, we're doing the penne, but, why not eggs? Yeah, okay, I'm good. So we are once again not going to use flour. If you want to alter this recipe for like a uh, French, Italian, Mexican dishes, go nuts. It's really easy to play with. That's why I'm going as simple as I possibly can tonight. There you go. It's a little more than I thought it did. Ooh, pretty good, they got hot fast. Don't know what I was expecting. I feel like Michael Bloom. But okay. Our eggs are good beats. You can season the eggs if you want. I'm not gonna bother just because I season the pork. Where is my panko? Baby, you know where the panko is? I thought you used it all, baby. No, I didn't use the panko, I used the other breadcrumbs. I, mean, I bought more, I just wanted to use up the rest of the hat. I'm gonna find that shit in like fucking five minutes. Like, whatever. I bought more panko. So, well, panko style. To about a cup and a half in there. Again, bowls are much better because you can just kind of toss them around and don't get your fingers dirty until you take it out. But you can always use chopsticks for that too. So, or just fork or tong. Okay. <clears throat> the hell? Oh, okay, yeah. That's the bread. It's not gonna get eaten, but I just wanna try something. Okay, um, what do I need? So I definitely wanna let this sit for a few minutes before we start anything. Let's get the oil heated up. While we work on our sauce. Okay. For the taikatsu sauce. Have to do this over here, but no. Ketchup. Oh, no, so I'll, gross. I'll, I'll, I'll go on the screen. It's disgusting. I hate it. I'm gonna do a oh, splash of rice vinegar. Oh. 
of pepper, because love it. Some Worcester sauce. You need a lot of this. Drizzle of soy. Just a touch of sesame oil. I'm actually playing with the sauce as well. Because all you need is this this oyster sauce, the Worcester sauce, and ketchup. But I'm playing with it a little bit because I have to. Love oyster sauce. This is definitely a specialty ingredient that most people don't have, but I can I get it at Walmart. So you can get it anywhere. Love it. Go back in the fridge after this. And just mix this all together. If it's too thick for you, you can always add a little more ketchup. Or too thin, add ketchup. Too thick, add a little splash of vinegar. Oh, this is the worst sound on the planet. It doesn't bother, it doesn't bother me, but I think it's going to piss off some of y'all. And I've got this also done. It doesn't need any cooking. Not quite there. I'm a war stir. A splash of vinegar. Because I taste the ketchup so strong. Oh, I hate it. Which apparently ketchup and rice is big in Japan. Like they love just like tomato ketchup mixed with rice. And they eat it on a dish called um, amarasu. I think it's called amarasu. Which is a scrambled egg omelet cooked halfway. Then they take it, dump it on top of the ketchup rice. It's all in one piece, slit it open, and the whole thing opens up and just like oozes everywhere. I wouldn't recommend trying that here, simply because the standards for food in this country are way lower than they are anywhere else. Like in Japan, you can hold an egg yolk up, it'll, it'll actually support its own weight. In this country, not so much. Not so much. There we go. That's what's up. No. Switch these around here. So I've got my pork, got my eggs, my breadcrumbs, and my <clears throat> oil for frying. Where is that? I, I can just use this actually. Is this sand dry? Yeah. <clears throat> Check your oil, remember? Stick something in it. Nothing happened. Oil's not hot enough yet. So need to wait another minute. Good way to test it, take the end of a wooden spoon or whatever the hell that thing used to be. I don't even know where the hell that came from. I'll have some rice. And put it into the oil and it will actually start to bubble if your oil is hot enough. I've got it on a medium right now. I'm going to knock it up like a medium high. It spilled something on my burner. Jesus. I don't know if the smoke alarm or not. Let's go over here. I don't know what the hell's on this burner. As it is, it will not stop smoking. Don't do this, by the way. What I'm doing right now, do not do this. <laughs> My hand can hold heat. My people can't. So, okay. Just turning it up. Okay, that's the smoke's coming off that now, so that's about done. Okay. But yeah, that's everything. At this point, I'm just deep frying the hunko with the um, pork. Let me get a plate for it. 
when it comes off with some paper towels. This isn't for that, it's kind of out of space. This has been stows about five days old at this point, four or five days old. So more testing the durability of my yeast and what kind of flavor it gets. So I let it ferment for a few days. Google, set a timer for half an hour. 30 minutes, starting now. Okay, are you like just. Oop. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. You're hot. It's warm. Oh, yes, he's hot by now. This is just fucking standing here. The sauce is a lot faster than I thought it would be. Uh -oh. Yeah, sesame seeds, scallions go great with this. Um, okay. right some movement, so it's definitely getting hot. I don't know. You can't use this burner. You can't put anything on there because this is too hot at this point. So, I'm going to drop a few chunks. In the keg. Let me feel how much softer the meat is. This is crazy. Yeah. Meat's so soft. Ooh, that's okay, there we go. It's happening now. What the fuck are you guys doing? Drip off the excess. Then into the panko. I'm actually going to use my chopstick for this, just because it makes it a little bit easier. So, wet hand, chopstick hand. Press it in a little bit, let it get the panko in there. Hindering more than it's helping. So, and just get as much of the excess off as you can. I got a drop of water or something in there. Be very careful with that. Uh, if you get water in oil, it will start popping like you're hearing right now. So, and that's never fun. You could have come to pick me up too, you know? Not being rude, but. Oh, 
I didn't know you were there. I was looking at him. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. The oil actually scares the shit out of me, y'all. There's a reason I don't really deep fry. Like, A, it's not really healthy. And B, this. I'm terrified I'm going to get burned again. I got uh, second and third degree burns on my foot. Well, second degree burns on my foot when I was a kid from an accident with my sister. And a frying, small frying pan that ended up completely catching fire. She grabbed it with a sling it into the stove, not a sm or, or sling it into the sink, which was not a smart move. Use baking soda or something. And yeah. She slung it all over my foot. Excess off, that's like the biggest thing here. And if you work with something that's not like a pork loin or chops, you're gonna have inconsistent pieces, and that's fine. I mean, just let the big ones cook long, cook a little bit longer than the small ones, not that hard. Small ones, keep an eye on, they'll turn browner faster. People really try to complicate this shit. It's not that complicated, y'all. Normally when you fry foods and you pull them out, you want to salt them immediately. I'm not doing that specifically because there's a lot of salt in the Worcestershire sauce. There's a lot of salt in the soy. There's a lot of salt in everything already. You don't have to use pineco for this. You can use any kind of breadcrumbs you have. Um, when you're doing a dish like this, I would recommend the unseasoned breadcrumbs. Just because you already have so much going on in terms of flavor, you're the only thing fighting for it. And most of the seasoned breadcrumbs do come with like cheese and everything in them. Hey Morgan, hey Mark. I saw some of the store earlier and I was gonna get, I grabbed them immediately and I was like, wait a second, see something, let me read this again. And sure enough, it had loads of different cheeses and Italian herbs in it. And while that is absolutely amazing for like making meatballs or like the ancini or something like that, it's really not gonna work for Japanese food. This is about the simplest recipe I can ever show y'all. I do prefer using the chopsticks and stuff in here just because I can grab it like individually. Pull it out just a little bit and look at it. And if you think it's not quite golden brown enough, <clears throat> that's fine. Go ahead and pull it out about a shade or two over or under where you want it to be because it will continue to brown sitting on your counter. That is a thing. I do not know the science behind that, mm -hmm. unless it's like the carryover cooking style, which is of course very much a thing. Because even sitting on the counter right now on paper towels, those pieces of pork are still very much cooking because of cold over heat. 
or carry over cooking. They don't stop cooking because you pull them out of the heat. The heat is still there. Wash one last time. Thank you, Morgan. We miss y'all. in like maybe 10 minutes if that babe what dinner's in like maybe 10 minutes if that maybe five Perfect. all depends on how this rice is looking speaking of which let's check the rice don't fuck with him rice i told it um About five minutes. But I'm actually going to turn the heat off on that right now. I think I want the guy to get a circle. I don't know how to Then we'll mix. And we're going to get together our rice seasoning. So this is a rice. If you just want to eat, like cook these up with like little chicken nuggets and dip them in the tonkatsu sauce, or you know, sort of way pasta, they do whatever you want to do. You're the one eating this shit, not me. Look at me, motherfucker. Leave that bitch alone. And that's done. Let's get our bitch. A little bit of a little bit of sugar. This is the roasted sesame oil. So the roasted sesame vinegar. So it actually has sesame seeds in it, which I love. I'm gonna put sesame in there anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yes. Put this over here. around with that vinegar get all in there in every aspect I did oh, when making this rice I made it a little bit less water it was one cup of rice to one and three quarters cups water because I knew it was gonna be adding the vinegar later on so I didn't want to flood it out or make it too mushy but that's all with that sit for like five minutes here is our crispy tongue Katsu pork. No, it's Katsu. I think Takatsu just means pork, honestly. Oh my god. Mmm. It's right, right. Mm. You've got to try the baking soda trick, okay? If you do like a pound, you want maybe a quarter teaspoon, like maybe an eighth of a teaspoon. You don't want a lot of baking soda in it. And you can use that for any meat, really except for chicken. Chicken's already pretty tender. So, but any of the steaks, you can always do that. Just like a quarter teaspoon of baking soda and a splash of water, like a tablespoon of water. 
and just mix it together. It will soak the water in, which will actually help the proteins push apart and make it more tender. This way they're not like pulling up on each other. Also, don't forget about resting time. You do have to let meat rest. That's why that's just kind of sitting there now. So, but yes, the rice is for arancini. It's a cool thing I want to show y'all tomorrow. I'm a deep frying everything this week, apparently. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> but we started going. We, we started going back to the gym today, so we're good. But yeah, um, yeah, good times. Good times. I'm going to, when this rice is done steaming and soaking up all the vinegar and sugar and salt and sesame flavor, I'm going to put them in some bowls, put the tonkatsu on top and drizzle, on, drizzle the katsu sauce on top of that and top with some sesame seeds. When you scallions go right ahead, I don't have any because I wasn't thinking about that when I was in the store getting the fucking panko because I'm not really because smart all the time. Shit happens. Whatever. Another thing, like, you know, just, just make it work. Oh, like, it's not lot. hard. <laughs> like, yeah, and that pork um, I got on sale for, like, four bucks. So, and I'm using, I'm getting two full meals out of it. So, I mean, I'm not mad at this. It's all about, like, you know, shopping on a budget. Like, I love me some Walmart. There are certain things I can only really get at Publix, but I love me some Walmart, love me some Lidl, Aldi, all those discount stores. And the king of the manager special, like that's the first thing I do whenever I go into Kroger or Publix. Or, um, through line, I look for the manager special stickers. Uh, there was a time for about a year and a half when the manager special decided what was dinner that night, just because I didn't have a lot of money. Like, I'm not rich by any means now, but I'm way better off than I was. So, just just know it does get a little bit better oh God, later it on. It gets easier. I can't because Nia kept So, me. yeah. You got uh, this. Nia, get Don't the worry. fuck out the way! But I'm going to go ahead and kill this video. Um, turn in tomorrow for the arancini and I'm going to do those stuffed with cheese in a um, like a marinara dipping sauce. I'm just going to use a compound butter for that so it's no big deal. Um, and then we're going to do the pork like carnitas taco style kebabs tomorrow night. So I didn't really think I had. I should have waited to make the rice tomorrow so I can do the arancini on Saturday, but I've already cooked the rice and I don't want it to sit for two days. I'm not letting rice go to waste. It's dirt oh, cheap, wow. but I still ain't made of money. So, yeah, I can smell the rice. It's pretty much done at this point. I, can, I, can, I, I just got a good whiff of the vinegar and I know it's not coming from here because it's some like hot vinegar. Which there's a difference. I promise you there's a difference. I'm crazy, but I promise you there's still a difference. Just because I'm crazy doesn't mean I'm wrong. But yes, I'm playing with scissors. Probably shouldn't do that. Put my shears away. But thank y'all very much for tuning in. I'm tuning in tomorrow for Chini wow, so and pork kebabs. <laughs> Might have the Aaron Chini is like a snack or something. Because they're, they're going to be stuffed with mozzarella. Uh, it's basically uh, fried rice ball essentially would like you stuff the inside so but yeah i will see y'all tomorrow thanks